I was never a super fan of him or of anyone, she says. It was never that crazed, screaming thing. I didn't think about it in any kind of way except for the fact that he was cute. Everybody had a crush on him. But for the first few years, we had a weird age gap. They didn't develop a real friendship until a few years later, when Haley started attending services at Hillsong, the Australian megachurch whose New York satellite was gathering at Irving Plaza at the time. One day, Justin walked into Hillsong and was like, hey, you got older. And I was like, yeah, what's up? Over time, he became my best guy friend. I was running around with him as his homie, but we weren't hanging out romantically. Three years ago, they did date, briefly, and while she was under no illusions about his capacity for exclusivity at the time, things did not end well. Both intimate that a betrayal occurred. Negative things happened that we still need to talk about and work through, Haley explains. Fizzled would not be the right word. It was more like a very dramatic excommunication. There was a period where, if I walked into a room, he would walk out. But in June 2018, they ran into each other at a conference in Miami hosted by Rich Wilkerson Jr., the pastor of Vouse Church, who officiated at the marriage of Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. The common denominator, I promise you, is always church. By then, we were past the drama. I just gave him a hug. By the end of the conference, he was like, we're not going to be friends. I was like, we're not? Within a month, he had slipped an enormous oval-shaped diamond ring on her finger. The thing is, marriage is very hard, says Haley. That is the sentence you should lead with. It's really effing hard. It's been so hard for me to trust people, Justin explains. I've struggled with the feeling that people are using me or aren't really there for me, and that writers are looking to get something out of me and then use it against me. One of the big things for me is trusting myself. I've made some bad decisions personally and in relationships. Those mistakes have affected my confidence in my judgment. It's been difficult for me even to trust Haley. He turns to her. We've been working through stuff, and it's great, right? To understand the Bieber's relationship, it's necessary to understand their belief in and attraction to each other's fundamental differentness. He is the id to her superego, the wild thing she could never have permitted of herself. Haley devoted 12 highly disciplined years to ballet. She was mostly homeschooled in suburban New York. She has never touched a drug, convinced of her genetic vulnerability to addiction. Her father had a severe problem with cocaine before she was born, and has been sober for nearly 30 years. She is, by her own and others' accounts, a careful and deliberate person, rational to a fault. Friends describe her with words like secure, steady, and strong. Justin's friends call him soft, sensitive, all heart, ruled by emotions so intense that he has often needed to numb them with drugs or not risk them on meaningful relationships. Justin is someone who cares too much, says Ryan Good, who spent years as his stylist and road manager and is creative directing his new clothing line, Drew House. That caring, Ryan continues, is what makes Justin such a great performer. He can really feel the mood of a crowd. But in his world, where there's so much take, 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 it's hard for him to feel safe. Haley is this force of calm. She's level. Haley views her own temperament as requiring the corrective of his. He'll say, I feel, and I'll say, I think she explains. I have to really dive deep and struggle to be in touch with my emotions. He gets there immediately. 
I'm the emotionally unstable one, says Justin. I struggle with finding peace. I just feel like I care so much and I want things to be so good and I want people to like me. Haley's very logical and structured, which I need. I've always wanted security, with my dad being gone sometimes when I was a kid, with being on the road. With the lifestyle I live, everything is so uncertain. I need one thing that's certain, and that, he picks up her hand, is my baby boo. I've been successful since I was 13, so I didn't really have a chance to find who I was apart from what I did. I just needed some time to evaluate myself, who I am, what I want out of my life, my relationships, who I want to be, stuff that when you're so immersed in the music business, you kind of lose sight of. I was real at first, Justin says, and then I was manufactured as, slowly, they just took more and more control. It felt fantastic to be famous, to be adored by girls. At 16, he blindly believed the hype. I started really feeling myself too much. People love me, I'm the shit. That's honestly what I thought. I got very arrogant and cocky. I was wearing sunglasses inside. Inside at night, says Haley. Last summer, after years as a nomad, Justin bought a house outside Toronto. The couple settled into it in September, and they agreed that real cohabitation, the kind that doesn't take place in hotel rooms on vacations, has been a test. They are squabbling over decorating decisions, healthy communication is a constant challenge, and in therapy, they are working on developing an ebb and flow so that their personalities don't lock horns. Sometimes they tiptoe around each other, and at others, they practice arguing without being unkind. Fighting is good, Justin says. Doesn't the Bible talk about righteous anger? We don't want to lose each other. We don't want to say the wrong thing, and so we've been struggling with not expressing our emotions, which has been driving me absolutely crazy because I just need to express myself, and it's been really difficult to get her to say what she feels. You'll get it out of me the next morning, Haley promises. She admits that the first few weeks of marriage were deeply lonely for her. She felt homesick for her parents, even though she hadn't lived with them in five years. Perhaps hardest of all was her sense that in marrying Justin, she suddenly had a hundred million rivals. So many people on social media seemed to be rooting for them to fail. No one appreciated how seriously she had taken the decision to get married, how much she had prayed about it. I prayed to feel peace about the decision, and that's where I landed, she explains. I love him very much. I have loved him for a long time. When the couple reconnected last June, Justin was more than a year into a self-imposed tenure of celibacy. He had what he calls a legitimate problem with sex. It was his remaining vice an addiction that had long since ceased to provide him any pleasure. I think sex can cause a lot of pain. Sometimes people have sex because they don't feel good enough, because they lack self-worth. Women do that, and guys do that. People have speculated that Justin and Haley married because she got pregnant, which is false. No babies for at least a couple of years, Haley says. Justin admits that while a desire, finally, to have sex was one reason they sped to the courthouse, it was not the only reason. When I saw her last June, I just forgot how much I loved her, and how much I missed her, and how much of a positive impact she made on my life. I was like, holy cow, this is what I've been looking for. One thing they have learned is that they are pretty happy homebodies. They like to lounge around the house, watch movies, 
listen to music, and dance in their kitchen. Though there is work to do, Justin wishes that Haley would take just a little pressure off herself. She's trying to be this grown-up, he says. I think we can be married and still have fun and enjoy our adolescence. That's something we're talking about. It's just that I'm fighting to do this the right way, to build a healthy relationship, Haley clarifies. I want people to know that. We're coming from a really genuine place. But we're two young people who are learning as we go. I'm not going to sit here and lie and say it's all a magical fantasy. It's always going to be hard. It's a choice. You don't feel it every single day. You don't wake up every day saying, I'm absolutely so in love and you are perfect. That's not what being married is. But there's something beautiful about it anyway. About wanting to fight for something. Commit to building with someone. We're really young and that's a scary aspect. We're going to change a lot. But we're committed to growing together and supporting each other in those changes. That's how I look at it. At the end of the day, too, he's still my best friend. I never get sick of him. Justin grins. And you're my baby boo.